In this session, we will demonstrate the latest innovations with the Cisco UCS X-Series modular system and new features of the Cisco Intersight that enhance the ability to provide complete visibility and orchestration across all elements of the FlashStack data center. This empowers customers to make intelligent deployment decisions, easily manage their systems, optimize cost and performance, and maintain supported configurations for their infrastructure. The entire FlashStack fabric is managed through Cisco Intersight, which enables full manageability of UCS X-Series chassis behind the FI through Intersight. Simple policy-based definition of logical and physical resources makes the deployment and management very simple. Intersight is all API-driven, and everything is completely programmable. There is a lot of flexibility on how you can deploy and manage your infrastructure and operations. You could choose to automate the infrastructure using a low-code approach with Intersight Cloud Orchestrator, or by taking advantage of the Intersight Ansible module, PowerShell scripts, Terraform provider for Intersight, or Python SDK. Let's look at some important features of Intersight, which enables visibility, orchestration, and automation across FlashDeck. When I log into my account in Intersight and navigate to the Targets tab, I see all the elements of FlashStack Data Center claimed as targets. I can see the fifth generation UCS Fabric Interconnects with X Series, Nexus C93 YC FX3S switches, MDS 9132T switches, VMware vCenter, and Pure Storage Arrays. Intersight will trigger periodic inventory on the claimed targets, and details are shown in various sub tabs under the Operate tab in the left navigation pane. I select Chassis and click on X-Series Chassis. It shows detailed information about the Cisco UCS X9508 chassis. It also shows the inventory of Intelligent Fabric Modules, X-Fabric Modules, and all the compute nodes in the X-Series Chassis. I click on a UCS X210C M6 compute node to get more details. You can also get a detailed inventory, its server profile, and check if drivers are all compatible as per the Cisco Hardware Compatibility Matrix. Navigate to Virtualization and observe that it lists all the virtual machines of your VMware accounts with its status, CPU, and memory utilization. You can also perform some operations on these virtual machines. When you select a VM, the Virtual Machine Details page displays the information specific to the selected virtual machine. It also lists the virtual disks and network adapters for that selected VM. You can view all the data stores present from the Data Stores tab. It shows data stores, data center if it is present, VMs mapped to it, capacity, and utilization. We can select a data store to get further details. You can also get cluster info, ESXi hosts, VM templates, and more. The Storage tab lists all the storages present. You can select a storage to get information about its capacity and performance metrics. Click on Inventory to get very detailed information about volumes, hardware, and network information. Administrators can view the physical and logical inventories of Ethernet and storage area networks in the Networking tab. From Ethernet switches, I will select a Nexus switch. It shows general information about the switch. When I navigate to Inventory, I can see the summary of ports, CPU, memory, power, and supervisor modules. Ports display the details for the Ethernet switch ports like name, operational state, admin state, MAC, transceiver name, and transceiver details. The inventory and summary details for MDS switches are available in SAN switches. Reports are like Nexus switches. In the logical inventory, I can see all the SAN port channels present. If I select any port channel, it shows all of the member ports with the state of each interface. Intersight Workload Optimizer extends optimization capability in Intersight. IWO ensures application resource management and performance, provides full stack visibility, and automatically optimizes data center resources in real time.
IWO provides continuous recommendations for performance optimization, cost reduction, and policy compliance. Let's look at a simple example to understand how we use IWO to manage and optimize the Flash Stack environment. On the left hand side, what you see is the consolidated supply chain. In the supply chain, I click on Virtual Machine. From the list of virtual machines, I select one which has performance related recommendations. Observe that the supply chain is scoped to a VM. We can see which host it is running on, networks it's attached to, and data stores from where the disks are mapped. On the left, it shows resource utilization and other health widgets. The Actions tab lists the actions to take to optimize the environment. In this example, IWO is recommending moving to FC NVMe data store due to higher IOPS. For each action, IWO shows information on resource utilization before and after the actions are taken. We can apply the recommendations by selecting an action and clicking Apply Selected. Instead of applying manually, there is also an option to perform actions automatically. InterSight Cloud Orchestrator simplifies the orchestration and automation for infrastructure across FlashStack data center by providing an easy to use workflow designer. Based on a library of curated multi-domain tasks, it enables users to create workflows with just a drag and drop. This enables quick and easy automation and deployment of any infrastructure resource, taking away some of the complexity of operating your environment. Let's look at an example workflow we created. The first task will set a host name to MDS. The second task will create a SAN port channel. The third one will set the port channel state to up and the next task will enable a feature on the switch. The last task will create a storage volume in pure storage array. Now, when we click on execute, it asks for all those inputs required like the target MDS switch, port channel ID, and the name of the volume to create. The tasks use these provided inputs, perform the operation, and produce outputs. To learn more, please visit the links shown on the screen.